Hello, so in this video, we're gonna talk about our pre-flop opening ranges and what those are. These are the ranges where we are the first person to raise into the pot where everybody else folds or we have limpers in the pot. And so in the previous lecture, we talked about bet sizing for pre-flop bet sizing, whether we are raising first in or there's limpers in the pot. Now we're gonna talk about the cards that we can actually play in those positions. And a lot of this relates back to our previous lecture on the power position. So if you remember from our previous lecture, we wanna be playing less hands when we're in early position while we're out of position. And we wanna be playing more hands when we're in position in the later positions, simply due to positional advantage and positional disadvantage. So all this is gonna to relate to that and hopefully remember that because we're gonna tie it all in right now. So let's go ahead and get started. So remember the blinds are forced bets. So the first person to act pre-flop is always gonna be under the gun. With under the gun, I'm recommending roughly a 9% range, which is pocket sixes plus, ace jack plus, and king queen plus. Nothing else. We're not playing any of these pocket pairs. We're not playing anything else in here. We're only playing this really tight range. And it's because of our positional disadvantage. We need to play tight ranges because we're gonna be out of position. If we're playing mediocre cards, then we're gonna get ourselves into a lot of sticky spots. And this is gonna be our tag style approach. So, and under the gun, we are playing these ranges. And there's a reason why I kept these smaller pocket pairs out of here, simply because post flop, you're gonna see a lot of bad flops where if you're not a really good player, you're gonna be check folding a lot of time whenever an overcard hits flop. And that's gonna be almost always. So now let's go ahead and look at middle position. So if you're raising first in a middle position, assuming either under the gun limped or under the gun folded, your range is gonna be close to 13%. Now we're opening up pocket fives and pocket fours as well. We've got our jack tens in here, we got our queen jacks in here, we have our ace tens in here as well, and our king jacks. So we're starting to widen up our range, but it's still really tight. It's still a really strong range because we're still at, you know, only two positions over. This is still early middle position. So now let's talk about cutoff. Let's say that it's folded around to cutoff or we just have limpers in the pot. In the cutoff, we can open up roughly a 22.5% range. And you'll notice by the time we get to the cutoff, we are in late position. So we're opening up a wide range. And what we're doing, we're doing all pocket pairs. We're doing suited connectors down to 7-6 suited. We're doing all of our suited aces and we're doing all of our Broadway cards. So 10, jack, queen, king, aces, any of our Broadway cards, we're doing those, and we're doing down to our ace nine off. Now, let's get to the money position. Remember, most of our profits are gonna come from the button because we're always gonna be in position. So what can we open up the button if it's folded to us or if we have limpers in the pot that we wanna raise? We can raise close to a 40% range. And this is a conservative range on the button really good players are going to open up a wider range. They're going to say 40% is too narrow, but for beginners, I'm recommending conservative opening ranges. So if you look at it, it's all pocket pairs. It's all aces, suited and offsuit, suited connectors down to five, four suited. And then we are bringing down in regards to our suited and offsuited non-paired cards, king eight, queen eight, jack eight, 10, eight, nine, eight, both for suited and offsuit. So that's the button. Now let's go ahead and talk about the small blind. Let's say that it folds around, everybody folds, and it gets to you in the small blind. What can you open? Well, you can open up a similar range to your cutoff as a starting point. And a lot of it's really gonna depend upon who's in the big blind. And we'll talk about this more when I do live play. But as a starting point, you can open up a cutoff range, which is roughly 22.5%. Now let's talk about the big blind. What can we defend in the big blind? Remember, you're never opening in the big blind. You're only going to be raising if there's limpers in the pot. You're never gonna be the first one in the pot. If by the time it gets around to you and everybody folds, then you just take down the blinds. So it all depends, really. Whatever you can depend depends upon who else is in the pot and what positions they limp from and their playing style. So a lot of this is going to be situational. That's why I put depend in here. Um, and then you just have to really watch me play when I do my live play demonstrations to get an idea of what we should be defending and what we shouldn't be defending. It all depends upon the opponents, their playing styles, their positions, um, and, and as well as you know how well you can play post-flop out of position. So that is 
pretty much a conclusion of you know everything in regards to big blind, small blind, button, cutoff, middle position, and under the gun for all of our preflop opening ranges. If you have any questions about this, let me know. What we're going to do in our next lecture is I'm going to pull up the Equilab software that I'm using in this course, and I'm going to show you how to actually plug those numbers into there and save them so you can use that as a reference point when you're playing. So if you have any questions about this lecture, definitely let me know. And if not, we'll see you at the next lecture. This video Thanks for watching. is a part of our Crush Microstakes online poker course, the Complete Master Guide. If you like this course, go ahead and click this link here where you can get this course for 50% off via our special YouTube video using our coupon code YouTube, and you'll get enrolled in this course for only $6. Thanks for watching and hope to see you over at Microgrinder Poker School.